Hi all, Henrik here. This is a book review of Accidental Saints by Nadia Boltz Weber. But first, if you want to help me out, hit like, subscribe, and go into your notifications and um, make sure that you get my videos if you want them. All right, here we go. Um, Nadia Boltz Weber was a pastor at House for All Sinners and Saints, a church in Denver, Colorado, under the ELCA or Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. I am Lutheran myself. And um, I am really interested in Pastor Nadia, and I'm really interested in this book. She's not a pastor anymore. She's retired. But um, that is for another video. This book, the full title is Accidental Saints Finding God in All the Wrong People, and that's exactly what it does. Pastor Nadia recognizes herself as... A broken person she is really sarcastic really funny completely honest about who she is she is a former drug addict former sex addict um, former pastor and um, she has anger issues and patience issues um, so, as far as the book goes, what it is, it's a book about how to become a better person and a better pastor through God's help. And she uses stories from her parishioners and from people around her to meet that goal. There are approximately 15 chapters in this book. Um, I'm reading the audible version, so, because I'm legally blind, so, um, this book is about six hours long, and it includes a half hour interview with Pastor Nadia after the end of the book, so, if you want to get into that. You just go into the last chapter. Um, there are a lot of different topics in this book, including cancer, um, gun control, um, learning how to talk to teenagers. That is my favorite chapter. I forget what number chapter it is, but it is called Whale Spit in the Superdome. And just to give you a quick rundown about that one chapter, Pastor Nadia was asked by her bishop to go to New Orleans and talk to teenagers. And she says, I don't know how to talk to teenagers. And um, I feel more comfortable in talking to people closer to my own age. So the bishop says, well, they want you. So she goes. And when she's on the plane, she meets a girl, they start talking, she goes to the conference, and she finds out that she can speak to teenagers. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because um, that would take way too long. And um, I don't want to do that. So... The thing about Pastor Nadia, she is completely honest, very sarcastic, very foul-mouthed. So this is not a book for anybody who cannot handle interesting language. Um, she does use the seven dirty words. She's used a lot of those. And um, she's not shy about looking at her own flaws. That's the main subject of this book.
So the message is you can get through your own flaws through um, God's help and through the help of others. Um, the book came out in 2015, but it's still relevant. Um, and I really like it a lot. I have read it and reread it probably about 10 times since I first got it. And I can handle language like this in the book. I can handle the hard subjects that she has in the book. Some of them are really, really tough. This is not a book for anybody under 17, unless um, you're extremely permissive. So I would not recommend it for anybody under 17. Um, and the book includes real people, maybe not real names, but real people who she's dealt with. So none of these people have been made up. Some of the stories may have been edited and um, shortened, but these are real people, real situations, and um, I would really highly recommend it. I'm going to include the link to the Audible version on the website, and um, you can also get it in the Kindle format, and I believe it's also available in paperback, but I'm going to link the Audible version. Um, I would give the book about a 9.75 out of 10 because of language content, but other than that, it is a powerful book, and I would really recommend it. It is not drenched in church dogma. It is not saying that you have to do this because Pastor Nadia herself recognizes that she has issues and um, she is just saying that these are stories of how people have dealt with their own things through the help of God and through help of other people in the church. I have had issues myself. I will not get them, get into them in this video. So, um, yes, 9.75 out of 10. It is a really interesting book and I would highly recommend it. That's it. Take care. See ya. Bye.